Hi friends, happy Wednesday. Welcome back to our phonemic awareness lesson for today. Today for your lesson, you will need your activity sheet that's in your packet with your different pictures on it and a pencil. So go ahead and pause the video and grab the materials that you need. All right, friends, welcome back. Today we're gonna work on our learning target. It looks like a lot, but you guys have done this before in a different way. And our learning target says, I can identify the beginning, middle, and ending sounds of words and write their matching letters. So today you're gonna to be able to look at a picture. We're gonna stretch out the word and then we're gonna write the letters that match. And we're not only just gonna write a word, but we're gonna also fill in the word that goes with the sentence. So you are, you're making a word that helps the sentence to be complete and make sense. So yesterday during our phoning make awareness lesson, we looked at pictures and we practiced writing the beginning and ending letter. So I drew an example of something that you did yesterday to get us started to help us practice. This is a very, very quick drawn picture of a cat. So if we wanna stretch out the word cat, well, they already gave us our vowel yesterday, which is a, a, a in the middle of that word. What's our first letter in the word cat? K, k. Well, we hear a k at the beginning. We know C says k. So what letter do I put first? C. Okay. Now I have k, a, t, t, t. Oh, I hear my last sound is a t. What letter says t? T. So I'm going to write a t on that last line. So now I have k, at, spelled cat. Very good. So we're gonna do this exact same thing today, but this time we're gonna fill in all three letters, okay? And what you'll notice is the pictures that are on our activity sheet today, you've already seen and practiced writing them before. So this will just make your brains remember a little bit more of what you've already done. So let's take a look at our pictures again. We're just gonna name the pictures, left to right, top to bottom. We have cat, bat, mat, rat, hat, can, pan, fan. Okay, now all of these words you've practiced writing before and we've already pointed out in our video lesson from Monday, that all of these words have the vowel a or a in it, which is the same vowel, right? So let's use what we already know about these words to help us write them. So my first picture is a cat. We just spelt cat. So I want you to take your pencil and we're gonna write one letter on each line. Cat, C-A-T spells cat, okay? Good. Now, we're gonna go ahead and fill in the next one together, but we're gonna go back and read the sentences once we fill these two in. So let's take a look at the next picture. We have a bat, a baseball bat, right? So we're gonna stretch out the word bat. B, at, b. What's our first sound we hear? B, what letter says b? B. So on the first line, we're gonna write a lowercase b. B, a, a, what letter says a? A, and this rhymes with our other word. B, a, t, 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 what's our last sound? T, what letter says t, t. So now we have cat, bat. Now I see some popcorn words or some sight words that we've already learned. The, oh, we just wrote this word, cat. This is the sight word is, and this is a color word. Red, er, ed, red. So since our sentence says the cat is red, I forgot to tell you to grab crayons, but you also will need crayons. You're gonna color the cat red, okay? The next one says the bat is green. What color is the bat? Green. I don't have my crayons at home today, but when you are finished writing your word, which we've already done, you're gonna color that bat green, okay? The next one says the, mm, you're gonna fill in that word, is yellow. The mm is yellow. So what color are you gonna color this? Yellow. 
This is the mm is purple. Okay. This one says the mm is blue. This one says the mm is brown. The next one says the mm is orange. And the last one, the mm is black. Okay. So you're going to fill in all of your words here, stretching them out like we did with cat and bat. And then you're going to go back in with your crayons and you're going to color the picture the same color as the color word. Okay. All right. Great job today, friends. I will see you tomorrow for your next phonemic awareness lesson.